Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, just got a little hodgepodge of stuff from uh, Silver and Bronze Age this time. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody that's been tuning in and watching uh, my vids on the 100 Page Spectacular series. I've uh, had a ball doing them and I've uh, enjoyed the comments I've got so far. Uh, here's uh, something I've been meaning to get for a while. And I have the originals. This are these are really like uh, reprints from like a series three or four years earlier. Uh, here's Dredge Star and Company, of all Jim Starlin. I think the uh, first series came out like in eighty one or eighty two. I'm not sure, but I think they uh, they reprinted them in this uh, in this series. So there's number one, number two. And as you can see, these are part of the Marvel's Epic imprint. I got these. I just love Jim Starlin stuff, and I just thought this character was pretty cool. And I heard, uh, I heard some news that uh, you know there might be a Dread Star movie or a TV series coming up soon. So uh, more cool news. Number three. Number four. No, I think uh, I think Starlin had to be like the master of the space opera, as far as art wise. I may be wrong. Kirby might have a little leg up on that, but uh, I thought these books were pretty cool. It's number four. It's number five. And like I said, these these are all from around like uh, 1985, probably what I'd call the end of the Bronze or towards the end of the Bronze Age. Okay, here's some stuff. Uh, from Continuity Associates. Uh, here's the Revengers, number one, starring the ultimate man, Megalith. Basically, the only reason I got these is because of Neil Adams. Uh, I wasn't all that impressed with the bulk of the stuff that came out from Continuity, but uh, you know they really had some good artists uh, other than Neil on, on these books, so I thought they were kind of cool. So there's number one. And number two, pretty cool covers. Okay, one of some earlier Bronze Age stuff. Uh, got Luke Cage, Power Man, number forty-two. Thought that was a really awesome cover. An issue of uh, Chamber of Chills that I didn't have, number nine. And these are all basically just reprints from uh, just the Atlas pre-Marvel stuff in the 50s. Still very, very good stories. Okay, an issue of uh, Marvel 2 and 1 that I needed, uh, number 24. Thing in Black Goliath. Okay, got some DC War stuff. GI Combat 177. Joe Kubert cover. One eighty eight. Yeah, this cover is by uh, Luis Dominguez, and uh, I've talked about this guy before, but he did a big bunch of covers for DC in the 70s. Uh, did a lot of stuff on the mystery books, Jonah Hex, uh, Phantom Stranger, he did a lot of covers. And this is one of his few war covers he did for DC, so really cool artwork. Okay. And I've been watching some of Captain Strange Life videos, and he's, he's kind of got me on a Harvey kick lately. So I've been been picking up some old Hardy stuff, and this was kind of like the same stuff that I started reading too before I actually got into reading DC and Marvel and collecting. Uh, but I still get a kick out of this stuff once in a while, and I'll pull out a pile and read it. Uh, here's Casper, Friendly Ghost, number sixty nine, probably from around sixty four, sixty five. Another favorite character of mine, Spooky, number 83. This is basically a, a rag. It's a reading copy, but, you know, I'm pretty cheap. Number 84. Number 85. 
number 89. Casper and the Ghostly Trio, number three. And another favorite Harvey character, uh, Hot Stuff, Little Devil, number 92. Casper, number 68. And on some more DC horror stuff. Uh, here's an unexpected number 137. Nick Cardi cover. One thirty nine. Another Cardi. This is basically a reader. I think I already had a higher grade copy of this, but it was like ninety nine cents or something. It's got a little. Got a little tear, a color break there, and the bottom corner's pretty beat up, but I just wanted it to read anyway. And last thing I got is unexpected number 115. Really nice Neil Adams cover. Closing in on uh, getting my uh, Bronze Age run of uh, the unexpected. Okay, guys, that's all I got for now. Like I said, uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope everybody's had a great weekend. And uh, I'll be putting up another 100-page uh, spectacular video probably this week. Uh, probably be kind of busy this weekend because i got uh, got the local con coming up. And uh, looking forward to that, spending all my money. So, uh, okay, guys, hope you have a great week. Onward and upward.